Hello, welcome to my channel. What I'm showing you now is the uh, solar power supply that I'm using for the mesh tastic and the uh, um, <coughs> reticulum R nodes. And it starts off with solar panels, of course. That's just using the two left hand panels. These are um, 25 watt panels from EcoWorthy and uh, they're facing the sun. As you can see, the sun's coming around. It's not fully on them at all, but uh, they're already generating some power. Sorry about the during building site noises outside. Um, these panels, open circuit voltage is uh, about 20 volts, and the short circuit current is, um, I think it's about 1.5 amps. It's probably written on the back and it's too small to read, but they're 25 watt panels. So two of them are connected in parallel to make a 50 watt panel. And, um, that is then fed down these wires. This is a bit of a lash up just to check that the, the principle works. And this is the um, solar charging module that uh, takes the input from the panel, there's a green light on, and I like to monitor what's going on. And so I've got these two displays here. Top one shows the voltage from the panel and the current flowing out of it. And the bottom one shows the voltage on the battery terminals and the current flowing into the battery. And you can see it's charging at the moment with uh, 0 0.63 amps. Battery voltage is 13.4 volts. And what happens is as the, um, the battery charges up, so that current is reduced by the charge controller. And you also notice this voltage increases because the open circuit voltage of the panel is allowed to float back up to 20 volts. At the moment it's been dragged down <coughs> because of the internal resistance of the panel to be the same voltage as the battery voltage because there's current flowing. Um, the, volt, the battery itself is this 12 volt, 8 amp power battery from Eco Worthy. So uh, these are sometimes on offer on Amazon, wait for Black Friday. <laughs> it makes them a bit cheaper. And this battery will run a, an R node for reticulum for several days. Um, what I like to do is to uh, use the uh, sledgehammer to crack a nut principle. There are people who are experimenting with um, UPS circuits, uninterruptible power supplies for a Raspberry Pi, um, to be able to uh, shut it down nicely if the battery goes flat and to wake it up again. It's quite complex stuff and it's hard to get it working. This is the, uh, the sledgehammer approach. We just use a big battery and some big panels. and. Uh, the aim here is that the battery never goes flat, so we don't have to worry about UPS shutdown and stuff like that. That's the theory anyway. I like to keep an eye on what's happening with the voltages and currents in the battery. So um, another sledgehammer approach is you put a little security camera in the same box, which is looking at those displays. You turn this around, maybe you can see that's one of those cheap uh, Chinese security cameras, which is connected via Wi-Fi. So when I'm out and about, uh, with the mobile phone and the mobile internet, I can uh, see how well the batteries are charging. Um, the other battery that I sometimes use, which is even more overkill, well, and it's really heavy, is this one. This is um, a 30 amp hour battery, and this will run the uh, R node for more than one week without any charges. So in winter time, when there's no sun, then this, this battery runs it for over a week. Maybe I'll get an even bigger battery. <laughs> um, this is the overkill method, but it, it tends to work reliably um, without interruption. So um, that's just to give you an idea of uh, my solar powered um, battery charging ideas and how they work. There's the antenna that's used for the uh, reticulum R node. I'd be interested in hearing your views and experiences and ask questions please and comments and uh, I'll see you in the next video where I'll probably be making a, a very small um, R note for reticulum using a Raspberry Pi Zero. Thank you for watching and remember to like and subscribe.